we are going to close. In order to win an election, we need a presidential candidate. UPND as a party in their own systems, they came up with Hakai Dichlema as the presidential candidate. The alliance of which I'm chairperson, on the date that we announced the change of name to UPND Alliance, we announced that our presidential candidate was Hakai Dichlema. I have a solemn duty because now we are bigger than that alliance. We have the four parties that are here with us and have been instructed to request this young man whether he will now accept beyond the two acceptances that he has already made to accept now to lead this bigger group as a presidential candidate. If that is the case, can you say so solemnly yes. to the, those gathered here? Yes. One Zambia. One nation. One nation. One people. Chairman of the Alliance and President Santa here. Yes. I am humbled by this gesture. I feel so small, but confident inside that working together with all of you talented people men and women working with the people's army across the ten provinces unit of purpose all of the things we've talked about today as a collective the south african senate together for greater good only together for greater good committed as freedom fighters, freedom to reconstruct everything in our society, including the economy and social fabric. On that basis, and the belief that unity is a truism, I, Againdi Hichilema, accept that responsibility. We have the police who do not operate independently, let alone professionally. Is this the Zambia we want? No. In Zambia today, many people are being hindered from exercising their freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of association, freedom of conscience, and other human rights. I ask again, is this the Zambia we want? No. It is also a known fact that some specific leaders are constantly breaking the law with impunity and are never prosecuted. Is this the Zambia we want? No. There are certain sectors of the economy that we are going to prioritize where we undertake the repair works. And without blinking on doubting, the mining sector remains a critical component in the recovery process of this economy. It remains critical because it's the biggest generator, not only of foreign exchange, but it's the biggest generator of lifting other industries of providing hope and opportunity to all of us. So what we need to do in the sector is begin to boost trust and confidence with the players in the sector. That's number one. Chairperson, the colleagues who have spoken before me have shown you how the rule of law in our country has been undermined and our economy has been brought to its knees. Allow me at this juncture to say very briefly that even our governance system has collapsed. You know, the thing about good governance is that it helps you tell whether the people you choose to rule you are ruling you according to the law. 
ruling you according to the same principles which you have agreed with them. I give credit to these men and women here today and those outside that you have taken a decision that on the backdrop of unity we can achieve that this country has lost. We can recover that which this country has lost. Even morals. Opportunities are not there. Today, you want to be Nakasakandalama. Just demonize these men and women here. Demonize them. In particular, one individual. Just demonize, just mention his name. Just bring Kato Rastras to the television and bring women I've never seen and they are saying we are sisters to each other. I've never seen them before. Then all of a sudden, you have How can you sustain that? What about that child in Kashinakash? Who is out of school? Who cannot speak ill of KBF, ill of NS Mansa, ill of Hua Kafumba, ill of Milopi, ill of Felix Mutad? How will they access their education? Because they don't understand talking ill of these people. Because they haven't been spoiled. They're still young. How are you going to benefit them? We say no to divisions. We say no to divisions.